Hello guys! New box in my mailbox. New box in my mailbox, by the way. Package from uh, eBay, from China. This time I have got a real nice item, I think. It's a um, voltmeter, battery, yeah, control meter or something. Let's take a look and you will understand. Here is the guy I bought this from. You can see it's a single 2000. This is the instrument. Looks like this. On his website. Excellent piece of kit so far. Yeah. You can have a look for yourself. Okay. In the box there is a manual which always is nice. But this one is in Chinese. Thank you again, China and eBay. Very nice of you. Well, we will try to figure it out later. One small plastic bag with the yeah, plus minus wire, USB, half a meter approximately. And then this one, which is oh, nice display. Ming He model BIC 1200A. And that's about it. And here we have the shunt. This is, uh, I think it was 300 amps. See here we can see something. If I yeah, 200 amps, 75 millivolts. It's supposed to be over here. It's fully loaded. Yes, that's it. This one is supposed to be here, and this one you can put inside here somewhere. Let's uh, connect it and see how it looks. Okay, here we go. Let me show you the voltmeter is here. 10 volt and it's set to show you 10 amps maximum. I don't think we will get 10 amps out of this resistor because I have a big resistor here. Which is Resistor wire and a small one at the end connected to it. So let's go. This one should be on here, then it should work. Yes or no? Okay, bad connection. Okay, here we go 10.12 volt. Zero amp, zero watts, zero everything. And if we connect the load, let's see what's happening. Okay, 2.2 amps, 21 watt. And what does the voltmeter say? Yes, 2.07. And here's a 2.2, which is the correct one. We can check it. Shut off a little. A few seconds. And we have a small ammeter which measure current through this loop. Oh, it smells hot. Let's see. If I can reset this, like this, reset. So this one says. Sorry about all this. About two amps. This one still say 2.1. Say also say two amps. So it's a little, little too much on this one. I did take the lid off just to see if there is something we can adjust, but here there is nothing. What we see here, this is the. The Bluetooth module will communicate with this one, threadless, wireless, sorry, not threadless, wireless. Then you use this one to put in here. 
And then you can put 12 volt on this and you can watch without the USB cable. But uh, no adjustment that I can see inside this box, so we have to accept that it shows a little bit, little, 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 little bit too much on the average. Okay, then I have uh, removed the display and the cable, and I have removed it to my other workstation, which is over here. And here you can see it's an antenna which receives the signal. It is four, almost full, and this is connected to this one. So I will say uh, the wireless is working excellent. I will say it's about five, four or five meters. And it's connect right away. Nothing was needed to done to be done. Just put the power on and it works. And then back to this one. And the voltage. Ten volt. Yeah. You can see that the wireless signal is uh, changed to the solid connector when you're using the USB. Oh, sorry. Here we go. USB is now connected and it shows yeah, steady signal. Here you can turn a relay on off, but to do that you need to connect some more wires. I managed to find an uh, sort of manual online which is in English if you'd like to study this you can post the picture and see what it says this I found on Amazon because they sell the same thing on Amazon as always with the eBay stuff but okay that's all I want to show you for now I'm really looking forward to install it in my car it should be I think it should be really nice At least it is uh, very cheap. It costs around 20 pounds or something. Around 20 dollars, it's the same, I think. 23 dollars. So um, that's all. Thanks for watching again, guys. See you.